All right, so I'm trying to book to the transmitter on this uh, Swan 700, and I'm having a hell of a time. So I didn't have any luck using the book tune method with the volt meter across the uh, the uh, 1K resistor here and looking at field strength. I said, that's crap. So what I did was I just put a wire on the finals grid connection as an antenna and that's a hot wire has minus 110 volts on it don't touch it and it's just an antenna sitting there and I'm following this schema here and I'm going for total field strength so I'm going to start on 10 meters now so 10 meters is dialed in we're on 10 meters here this is upside down, I'm sorry, but I guess it's how it's gonna go. I got the right frequency on 10 meters and I'm gonna transmit. So, this is counterclockwise all the way for, no, for minus 110 bias. The screen wire on the finals is disconnected and in midair. So I'm following that part of it. And now I'm just going to tune, I'm going to uh, transmit. I'm not going to, uh, Go to tune because I want to use this carrier level here, and so I'm watching my Paragon over here. I'm using it as a field strength unit and dialing back the carrier, and then I'm just going to tune it for field strength. So, using this as an antenna off the grids of the finals, I will start on the 10 meter side of it. So looking at the uh, little diagram here, 10 meters is going to be this coil and this coil. So that coil is the one way down in here. Go down into there and tweak it. This one does tweak. Go for field strength. Oh, and by the way, yeah, the grid's got to be at 2 o'clock. So put your grid here at 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock's down here, 2 o'clock's right there. Tweak this one for a field strength. And that's good. Now, I think this one's also 10 here, is it? Let's see. It's the most extreme one on the right, yep. Tweak that one for field strength. That's it, you're done on 10. All right, let's go to 15. 15 goes to 21,450. So, 15, 21,450. I'm gonna turn it around. There we go, sorry. 21,450. 21, 450, 250, 300, 450 right there. Okay, and we go to two o'clock on the grid. We are at two o'clock. The frequency is 21, 450. I'm upside down again, sorry. 21, 450. Okay, faithful paragon. Enter two one dot four five. Enter okay, twenty one four fifty. We have RF gain up. We're on AM. Okay, let's do it. We're just going to go to transmit here. I hear something. Boy, it's right on. So that's a testament to the frequency calibration on this damn thing. It's pretty good. All right, so let's tune up the 15 meter coils for field strength. Those are going to be where here. 
I tune this for 10, so I'm not touching it. I, I tune this once again, and on 15, this had no reaction. So we're ignoring this one. I'm going to do that one right there. One over. And I've already done this, but I'm doing it for the video. So field strength, I think it's maxed out now, but and it's up there pretty high. But we'll do it. Yeah, see that? So it likes to be way up there. Anyway, that's 15 meters. Let's tune up now on 20. Okay, 20 meters. 20 meters wants to be at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, sorry. 11 o'clock on the grid. That's 12, that's 11 right there. That's gonna be nine, 10, 11. Right there, there's 11 o'clock. Okay, 20 meters wants to be 14, 150, sorry. 14150 14150 um 14150 just take this to 150 14150 is right there take this thing to 14150 okay enter one four dot one five enter okay we're now on fourteen one fifty on the paragon so now we're gonna fire this baby up sorry I had to get this let's go to transmit find our signal. There it is. Let's lower it down a bit with the carrier. Okay, so on this one, we want to tune 20, 20 and 40. I didn't find this one did much difference, but we'll try it. 20 and 40. We're on what, 20 now? Yeah. Let's try this one. On 40, it didn't make a difference. Maybe this will work out. Oh yeah, look at that. So. Ooh. There's a nice peak. See that? We're going to keep it right there. And that's a little different than it was on 40 meters. So at 40, I'm gonna ignore that setting because it doesn't really work. Now, for 20 meters, we're gonna go here, right here. 20 meter coil, peak that sucker from X. And I had it peaked up, but it, there it is. All right, 20's done. Now we're gonna go to 40 meters. And turn this around, sorry. Okay, so it makes sense and turn this off. Go to 40 here. There's 40. 40 meters, 7150, same as 20 meters, so we're all set. Sorry about this. Okay, so 40 meters, 7150. Let's change this to 7150. Enter 7 dot one five enter okay there's 40 meters 7150 let's turn this guy on okay 40 meters is going to be 11 o'clock this thing is at 11 o'clock we're good 11 o'clock we're good 40 meters yep that's lined up let's now transmit and find our signal there it is Give it some more juice with the carrier. All right, now, what is relevant? I'm not touching the 40 meter in the mixer because we peaked it on 20, so 
leave this one alone and peek the 40, which is here at the very top. Top one on the left bank, right there is a 40, right there. That's the 40. Let's peek that one for field strength. See how it goes. I had that peaked. At any rate, that's how it goes. See, it'll go down one side, down the other. Leave it there. 40 is peaked. Okay, that leaves 80 meters. 80 meters wants to be at 3800. So we turn this off. Go to 80 meters. 3800. There's 3800 right there. All right, take this guy to 3800. I like this Paragon, it's a nice test monitor, nice service monitor. Okay, taking the Paragon to 3800. Let's go to 3800 in the sky. Enter 3.8, enter. Okay, we're on 3800 on the Paragon. Grab this lid. Okay, this guy over here, let's see. What are we doing here? We're on 80 meters, correct. And we're supposed to be at 12 o'clock. So let's fix this to 12, right there. And now we can transmit and see how things go. We're transmitting, let's find our signal. There it is. Okay, now we adjust this thing on 80 meters. We have two adjustments, one there and one there. There, kitty corner. I didn't find this one made much of a difference, but let's see what if it will. That one is this guy right here. And let's try it. Okay, there it is. What do we got here? Oh yeah, it peaks up. Let's lower the carrier a bit. There, now it's real low. And let's make sure it's peaked. good. Move on to the next one, which I think is right here. Sorry. All right, so first we did this one, just did this one, right? And now we're doing this one here. For field strength, let's make sure it's right. We did that one, now we're doing this one. Okay, give it a shot. That's concerning. It's not my radio. Okay, that's peaked. So that's as good as I can make this thing go with book, I think. There's the next part, but now I think we reconnect the uh, screens and all that. Let's see what's next. So we did all that. So that's good. We're done with all that. I did the carrier frequency adjustment. So that's done. What's next? Okay, so we have to muck around with the IF frequency of sideband. I don't know if I want to do it that way. I think I want to just go for the exact frequency what these things have to be at and go that way. Anyway.
I could basically use my receiver for that. Use the Paragon. I think that's going to be tomorrow's lesson. So it might be fun to connect this thing back up and see if it even transmits after all this. If it even works. Alright, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.